I'm Elizabeth and in today's video we're going to be discussing pelvic pain and how it relates to the pelvic floor. There are several diagnoses um, which can lead to pelvic pain symptoms. Um, these can be painful bladder syndromes, um, painful intercourse, painful periods, heavy periods, um, menopause, and sometimes even constipation. With all of those different diagnoses kind of leading to pelvic pain, the one thing that we do see similarities with are what is happening with the pelvic floor muscles. Um, a lot of the times with the pelvic pain, the muscles of your pelvic floor, both the superficial and the deeper muscles, will become tight um, or even have muscle spasms to where you can feel that spasm um, and that muscle contraction. Um, so with the, with the more superficial muscles, that can contract and spasm as well. Um, when that happens, like with um, intercourse or even inserting tampons, the muscles will want to contract and not allow um, any kind of vaginal penetration. So with therapy or treatments, um, there are several treatments that your doctor may suggest. Um, if, you are happen if you happen to be seeing a physical therapist, um, they may do techniques to help those muscles to relax, teach you exercises to help with pelvic floor muscle relaxation. Um, and if you have one of the uh, Cahils, um, there are some modes on the app that you can use to help assist with that pelvic floor relaxation. Um, in the upcoming video, we will have more details on how to use um, the manual training mode and the massage mo modes to um, assist with pelvic floor relaxation.